Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. If you are new here, welcome to my channel and welcome to the Dawn's Beauty for All family. Now, today's video, I am doing an unboxing of my February Art of Organics box. Now, Art of Organics had taken a break in January and so they came back strong this time for February. Um, this is what the box looks like and if anybody has been around in the green beauty world for a little while i'm just going to turn it around you know what that pattern is from okay so i'm just going to get into the box now i love these little sleeves as they you know hold the box together and that's what the box looks like without the sleeve i did take a peek about what of what's in this box and i sort of like sampled one or two so we can just get right into this and we will see what's in there and if you guys don't know this pattern this pattern is the little fox uh brand so we're just going to get right into this okay let me open it up and i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like then this is the card the pamphlet with that comes in the box and tells you what products are in there and you can see the three products that are in there now the first product whoops I'm dropping everything already sheesh I'm throwing stuff around what else is new right right I do that all the time so if you're new and you see me doing stuff like that no worries everybody's used to me dropping stuff oh yeah fun 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 and then the first item in here is the flower ball heart chakra body nectar and let me read a little bit about this the scent i am sort of on the fence about i'm not really sure how i feel about it it says that it is um envelop yourself in exotic blooms and recharge the vibration of your heart center the sensual nourishing body nectar boasts exotic aromas of Indian night, blooming jasmine, sambac, and green violet leaf. Infused with phytonutrient rich botanical oils, including vitamin C potent maracuja, skin repairing uh, camel camellia, camellia, right. Am I reading that right? Yes, camellia. And rose hip with vitamin E rich prickly pear. Little Fox's Silky Formula provides powerful natural actives found in exotic plant oils and absorbs instantly, leaving no greasy residue. Flower Ball Body Nectar evens and smooths skin tone while providing moisture to cells and delivering Little Fox's signature radiant fox glow all over your body. Now, I did, it says what's in here is the maracuja oil was de deeply hydrating. Jasmine Sambach is aphrodisiac properties. Green violet leaf is comforting. Camellia tea seed oil is repairing. Rosehip seed oil is healing. And prickly pear seed oil is nourishing. Now, I'm going to pump some of it out. And so you guys can see what it looks like. I'm just not really sure about how I feel about the scent. So, I'll just put a little bit on my hand. You can see it's an almost clear oil, slightly, you know, a little bit yellowish, but not really, not really a uh, vibrant color. But the scent is, what can I say? It has what we would call a little bit of a, a skunky type scent. I mean, it's not a bad scent. It's, it's not at all. I guess, you know, it's something that you would, it takes some getting uh, used to or adjusting to. I don't know if I would use this all over my body or I don't really know. I mean, it it is a nice scent if you this is what you like. But for me, I'm not really sure because my favorite body oils like this are more along the lines of like... Um, like a lavender type uh more like the osmia but you know i can't compare 
the two oils because this is completely different from that oil. This is extremely moisturizing versus some other oils that I have used that are, what they do is that they just sit at the surface of the skin and they don't absorb well at all. This one absorbs well uh, whether your skin is um, damp or dry. I find that I found it when I did try it a little bit it did absorb immediately right on dry skin so it wasn't a problem I just didn't use it all over my body but I had to you know I have to try it a little more and see if I like it or not but the retail value on this is $60 so and it is how many ounces 1.7 ounces or 50 mils so that one is okay I mean it's a I don't know if I would buy this myself, but you know, there are people who are going to love it and there are people who don't like the oils that I like. So, you know, everybody is different with this one. So I'm going to put that to the side. And then the next one is the Luxury Jasmine Lip Butter, Gel Somino uh, Lip Butter. And it says it's a sumptuous blend of nourishing Amazonian plant butters blended with avocado and maracuja oils to moisturize, soften, and protect. The base of rare muromuro butter contains a rich concentration of essential fatty acids, omega-6, omega-3, and provitamin A to lock in moisture, creating the perfect finish on its own or layered under your favorite pop of color. Delicately scented with French neroli, Night Blooming Jasmine and Italian Bergamot finish off this Lux Everyday Balm. And you apply it like a regular balm. Now let's see which one it is. That is this guy right here. The Gel Somino. I'll show you guys what it looks like. And it is just like a, you know, like a creamy colored um, lip balm, lip butter. And let me smell this one. Now that's a little bit strong to be putting on your lips, but I would use it. It's just, for me, it'd be a little bit strong for that, but you know, or I just use a very small amount. I had, I'll just put my finger in here, my pinky, or I'll put that finger in there. You can see it. It comes off just like that, like a clear oil and I'll put it on my arm. You can see that it just goes on like an oil. So let me smell that has an interesting scent you know I would you know I saw some hive Trish talk about this too I didn't really watch her about the um, the this particular product but I had gone and was watching about this and I think she said that she was going to be uh, repurposing this as more of a solid perfume and that is probably a great idea because it is pretty strong as a lip butter, but you know, I might use it both ways. I don't know. I have to see. And yeah, but that's the oil. This one I would I am definitely going to be using this product a lot. Definitely, yeah. I mean I love their lip butter, so can't beat it. And then the next item is an item that um, is the Melty Jungle Cleansing Balm. And I don't think this is available in the store yet. I'm not sure. But this is a small size Amazon after dark melty jungle cleansing balm and this is more like um, a deluxe sample or a travel size I'm gonna open it up and show you guys what it looks like oh look at this and it kind of came with a little spatula to scoop some of the uh, cleansing balm out which so you don't have to put your finger in there and on the top of this I can see that there's like a little bit of condensation on here. So, hmm. Let me see that. That, that was actually the um, Melty Cleansing Balm, how it came off. And it it's like that. It's like a clear gel. I, I like the scent of this one a lot. This one I'm definitely going to be using. And I'll put this like right there so you guys can see it. It's... Cleansing balm. I might use this later on. Definitely. 
I love the scent of that. I really like the scent of that one. This one is definitely going to be used. Now this one, it says a luscious infusion of Amazonian plant butters, collagen stimulating hibiscus, white willow bark and skin plumping camellia an ultra effective deep cleansing ritual that won't strip the skin's moisture barrier barrier i'll open it up and show you guys again as i'm talking <clears throat> formulated with a base of rare muro muro butter containing a rich concentration of essential fatty acids omega-6 omega-3 and pro vitamin a which offer soothing emollient properties to the skin the high level of lauric acid, a rare medium chain fatty acid, provides antifungal, antiviral, and antibacterial protecting properties, perfect for all skin types, especially mature, dry, dull, congested, and acneic. So basically just about everybody can use this little, um, little, this uh, cleansing balm. It says the ritual. For a deeper cleanse to remove makeup and sunscreen or for chronic dry skin, warm a pea-sized amount between dry palms and massage into dry skin. Perfect for a soothing PM aromatherapy treatment. That is true. Place a warm, damp cloth over face for a minute, allowing steam to activate the oils. Take a deep breath, then wipe clean with cloth. For a lighter cleanse, perfect for AM. Massage a smaller amount onto wet skin creating a lightweight cleansing milk. No need to use a cloth to remove. Rinse clean with water. So that's another way so you can use it as a balm or as a cleansing milk, depending on, you know, how you want to use it. And I think that's really interesting that it can do both. So I'm definitely going to be using these products for sure. Not so sure about the body nectar. I mean, I really... I really want to try it in small amounts to see how much I like it and how much I'll adjust to it and if it will have any effect on any, you know, my allergies or anything like that. So, yeah, guys, this is my February Art of Organics unboxing of the Little Fox. And it says right on the front, Lush. So, yeah, let me know what you think of my unboxing of this month's Art of Organics box. Okay, guys, if you like it, if you don't like it, if you would be interested in it or not, I think this box might still be available in the Art of Organics shop. I don't know. If there, if it is, I will leave a link down below for the for this particular box. And, yeah. Okay, guys, take care. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, please subscribe and I will see you all in the next video. Okay, guys. Bye.